How's it going guys? It's Alex here with Northern Scavenger and today we're going to be building a Quincy. Alright guys, so as you can see behind me, I've got a nice juicy looking pile of snow that I put together yesterday. The reason I did this is because it's a really light fluffy snow that if you made a pile right away and started hollowing it out, it wouldn't actually have time to form and really become packing. So I did it yesterday, I packed it all in, and so today it should be nice and crunchy for us to be able to hollow it out perfectly. So let's get started. So first things first, you need a location for your entrance. Starting out, what's really nice is to be able to use the smaller shovel to break off big chunks on the inside and actually have all the snow lie at the front here, and then go in with the big shovel and scoop it all out after. All right, so a couple Quincy building tips for you. You want to try to keep your door as small as possible enough so that you can get in and out pretty easily but at the same time you don't want to create a huge hole that you have to fill at night time uh, to keep warm in there you're probably wondering how you know how thick to make your quincy and when you're starting off you don't really have to worry about it too too much i mean you have to get in there eventually right you know the general shape of your quincy so you want to try to dig towards the the biggest volume of snow in your pile like if I start digging directly this way, I'm gonna hit the side pretty quickly. But if I dig straight back, there's a good chance I'm not gonna hit the side very soon. Now, a few tricks that I use. If you block yourself in front of this door and try to block as much light as possible getting into that hole, if you're looking on the inside, you'll actually see thin spots. You'll see a little bit of a lighter section of snow. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and block the door. So slide down a little bit, put my arms in the way. Try to seal up all the holes so you can see right above me in this area here, it's starting to get pretty thin. Well, the second tip is a trick that a lot of people use when they're uh, building a Quincy. And that is getting a stick and you know exactly how big these sticks are. You'd ideally have a bunch of them the same size, but if you put these in the areas that you're digging, you'll be able to find them on the inside and, and it'll also tell you uh, how far you can dig on that side. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. So now that stick that I had put through the roof, I started digging and I've now found it here. So as you can see, I'm not gonna go too much further on this side here, I'm gonna try to protect it. So again, if we keep going back further that way behind the camera, I think we're in a pretty good spot to start hollowing this thing out a little bit better. Time to make it a little bit bigger. Like I said, we're gonna keep going back this way. Where's this big pile? Alright, time to get this stuff out of here. So another important thing to note when you're building a Quincy is where you're putting the snow that you're pulling out from the Quincy. Now that you're hollowing out, if you're adding additional snow to the top, it's just adding additional weight that this structure is not used to supporting. So it's important to when you're actually pulling the snow out to pile it at the side of the Quincy instead of on top and that'll help make sure that it doesn't collapse on you uh, while you're continuing to dig. So a little status update. We've uh, got quite a bit of space in here now like I can sit up comfortably in the middle. All right guys, so I've been working hard on this Quincy all day today and it's finally complete. All the stuff that I took from the inside, all the snow from carving it out and hollowing it out, I used to create this little wind wall at the side just to create a little bit of extra protection. Hey there, why don't you check out the inside? Let's go. Welcome, you're officially inside the Quincy. Look how spacious it is in here, it's crazy. I'm gonna have a house party here this weekend. There's just so much space. Oh, what's around the corner? Oh shoot. It's almost like a whole other room over there. 
Still need to add an air hole somewhere so that when you seal the door off at night, you have a little bit of air coming in, but we'll just make a small one of those tomorrow. Other than that, I'm leaving the candles on right now so that it solidifies the inside. Basically, it'll kind of heat up in here and create a little layer of moisture on the inside of your Quincy. And then the cold air tonight will freeze it and make it solid. And that'll also help your structure uh, not collapse on you and be a little bit more solid. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to build a Quincy. Catch you on the next one. Hopefully they did enjoy the video. You know, we worked really hard on this. Whoa, looks like the fire's going out there. Do you guys see that? Why don't we go check out what's happening with the fire?